Anita Tequila here with another bonus episode of Flip the Script. I am still piecing together season two, and as I give my co-host time to get everything together, I still want to take a few extra moments to enlighten you. Something came to mind today as I was taking my walk, and I just want to talk about that really quick. So I was talking to someone yesterday about an issue that they were experiencing with someone else, and they made the remark, I'm just going to kill them with kindness. I thought to myself, hmm, kill them with kindness kindness just take a few moments if you will to marinate on those words now I know you've heard it all before that saying has been floating around since as long as I can remember but my question to you is How exactly do you go about killing a person with kindness? For one thing, killing is not kind. The act of killing literally means you are taking away someone's life. Don't get me wrong, I do understand that most people transcribe that in their mind as meaning that When someone is not so kind to you, you in turn turn around and you are so kind to them that you leave some type of a lasting impression on that person. It's supposed to mean to be so kind to an unkind person that you leave them dumbfounded. And I get that. But can we stop for a minute to just think about the connotations of that very saying? This saying carries an undertone of negativity. So does the saying that goes, kill two birds with one stone. And so does the saying that goes, there's more than one way to skin a cat. They all perpetuate violence. They literally defeat the purpose of their very meaning. Subconsciously, we adhere to the idea that things can be solved with violence. These words become buried so deep in our minds that we don't even realize that when we do act out, when we do lose control, when we do step outside of ourselves and stoop down to somebody's level, it's because we have already accepted these negative connotations that come attached to these well-known quotes and sayings. And so I feel as though something has to be done about that. We have to change that narrative. I don't know, but I'm thinking that instead of saying, kill them with kindness, we can from here on out say something more like, thrill them with kindness. You know what I mean? We can be so kind to a person who's not so kind to us that we give them a thrill. And maybe that thrill will help them to come to grips with the fact that they're not so kind. Just maybe that thrill that we give to them by being so kind to them when they didn't deserve it will change their body chemistry for the better. I mean, maybe if we thrill a person with kindness, they will go on to thrill someone else with kindness. So instead of having all these zombified corpses walking around killing other people with kindness, 
because we have killed them with kindness, we can instead have a society of people living to be kind. <laughs>